Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry about my voice. I, my allergies are just killing me right now, so bear with me. Um, this is my pickup video for the week. Um, this doesn't include the thrift store I went to today, but I'm gonna show. I'm gonna shoot that tomorrow, depending on how I feel. But I'm just gonna get through the new releases and my mail and whatnot. And yeah, so let's just get into it. So first thing here is from. It's pretty much a gift, um, Miranda from Miranda's, uh, I forget the title of her show. Uh, you guys know, I'll link her down below. But anyway, she gave me a $25 uh, digital gift card to Amazon, so thank you very much. I went ahead and upgraded my DVD to Blu-ray of the complete collection of Ghost Stories, which is an anime. I'm not big on anime, but I'm trying to broaden my horizons if you will and i actually enjoyed this show so 20 episodes on two discs uh 450 minutes uh, i enjoyed it so just the one to upgrade that one this is put out by eastern star and discotech media so pretty cool uh next up i got srs cinema i've got two titles here uh this one it's like a horror anthology, I believe. No. Um, actually, no, it's not. I thought it was because it looked like it, but... Uh, from 2024, 73 minutes, it is uh, 31 Kills of Halloween. I really enjoy that artwork. And here's the back. Um, this is a Bobby Canip Jr. film. I think it was shot in Las Vegas. It looks like it was. Um, uh, two horror enthusiasts who host their popular YouTube channel called The Spooky Boys uh, receive a chilling suggestion to watch the rare tape smashed brains inside the former home of the infamous serial killer Barry Brodsky. Exciting for a unique Halloween experience, they venture into the eerie house only to encounter sinister supernatural occurrences that blur the line between reality and horror. So, sounds like something I'd enjoy. So, uh, special features, commentary, trailer, alternate alternative version of the movie, music video, count creepy segments, uncut commercials, and more. So, pretty cool. Definitely something I wanted to check out. And then the second thing was supposed to be a different title. I bought from uh, him through eBay <clears throat> a movie that I wanted. It's a Region B release of a movie that I enjoy. But unfortunately, he couldn't find it. So he said, just pick another title. I'll be more than happy to send it to you. So this one was actually probably a little bit more expensive than that one. So it kind of worked out anyway. So thank you, um, I believe, Ron. This is actually one of his films. I have it on DVD, I wanted to upgrade. So this is um, City of the Vampires. I uh, forget what year this is actually from, but it was re-released in 2019. Uh, I think this is one of his early films. So there's that. I enjoyed this, I enjoyed it overall. So definitely wanted to upgrade that one. Speaking of upgrades, this is also a Region B Blu-ray, which does not have a region, uh, doesn't have a U.S. version release. So, went ahead and picked out the Studio Canal release of Southbound. This is a really good horror anthology from uh, 2015. It only got a DVD here in the U.S., so glad to upgrade that one. I believe it has the same audio, uh, the same special feature on here. Which is just audio commentary from uh, different filmmakers. Um, Radio Silence is on here. Along with David Bruckner. Uh, Roxanne Benjamin, Susan Burke, and Chris Harding. So definitely definitely want to check that out. I don't believe I actually watched the DVD version of that. So I'll check that out. I uh, went ahead and got this three pack. I want to get rid of, I want to slim down like collections. So I got the Annabelle three film set here from FYE. I had a coupon, which I didn't really read the whole coupon. I thought it was 25% off a $30 or more purchase, but no, it's only 25% off one item. That's $30 or more. So, but I'm glad I used it anyway. So this was like $18. Which is, it's fine. 
<clears throat> it was cheaper than Amazon anyway, so it worked out. Uh, this one I only have on Blu-ray, so I wanted to get the 4K Steelbook. And it was actually cheaper using the coupon there than it would have been on Amazon. So I got this for under 30 bucks. This is the Evil Dead 4K Steelbook. The uh, 2013 remake, which I enjoyed quite a bit. So, pretty cool. Uh, Walmart. I don't really buy anything last week from Walmart except for this uh, Steelbook. Um, Joker. The 4K Steelbook. I have the Blu-ray Steelbook, so I'm going to get rid of that and just upgrade to this one. So, I, yeah, it's cool. And then I'm going to end the video with Severin, which I finally received my order from July. It took a little while to get here, but at least I got it. Uh, five titles here. So the first three are just regular. No, first two are slipless. Uh, first one here is a Charlie Sheen Maxwell Caulfield film from 1984. And that is The Boys Next Door. <laughs> Never seen it, but I wanted to check it out, and I finally got around to grabbing it. So this is a Penelope uh, Sapphiris film. I can't probably not pronouncing her name right, but also stars Christopher McDonald and Patty D. Arbenville. So. There's the back. A lot of special features there. <laughs> uh, this one, next one here is a 1963 film, black and white. Looks really weird. I saw the trailer for it a while back. I actually had it on a multi-feature DVD set, which I think I still have, but I'm planning on getting rid of that one. So this is the horror of Party Beach. It's a cheesy 60s movie. Directed by Tell Del Tanny. Yeah, Del Tanny. Uh, I don't recognize any of the actors in here, though. So, But yeah, it looks pretty cheesy. Definitely something that I would enjoy. And then we got... This is, I guess you can call it an upgrade. I have the regular MGM release of it. So went ahead and got the Severin release of Overboard for five bucks. Couldn't pass it on it for five bucks. So it's got a slip cover. So. Uh, yeah, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. I believe they're actually married, right? Rodney McDowell. So. It only has an interview with the screenwriter on here, so it's kind of lame, but it's, at least it's something. <laughs> And then I'm going to end it with two 4Ks. Um, I have this on Blu-ray, one of the original releases of it. So I wanted to go ahead and upgrade it to this chunky box set of uh, Dario Argento's Opera. I enjoyed this film. I watched it a couple years ago. Really enjoyed it. So I have pretty much enjoy anything that Argento has done over the years. So glad to have that. And then, yeah, I had to get it. Um, it said it was damaged, but I know it doesn't work, but I went ahead and got it anyway. This is the uh, bigger set of Kathy's Curse. It doesn't work. I, I tried it myself, but the lights, the, the eyes do not light up <coughs> like it's supposed to. So it is what it is. So that's fine. So that's it guys, that's everything I've picked up this past week, plus my Severn order arrived, so I really didn't really buy much this week, so. <coughs> so here is my stack for this week, let me know if you've seen anything on in this stack, or if you're interested in anything in this stack, so. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully I feel better tomorrow so I can shoot what I found today, so thank you for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys in my next video.